materials, crucible with lid, glass steering rod and a spatula, clay triangle on a tripod and a Bunsen burner, tongs, water dropper or pisset, the chemicals, magnesium ribbon, 0.2 to 0.3 grams, distilled water. Procedure. Place a clean crucible and its lid on a clay triangle, which was placed on a tripod. Heat the crucible and its lid over a Bunsen burner flame for a couple of minutes. Allow the crucible and lid to cool down to room temperature and weigh them on the analytical balance. Record the weight. Place a piece of magnesium ribbon, 0.2 to 0.3 grams, in the crucible. Weigh the crucible containing the magnesium ribbon and the lid. Determine the exact mass of mag magnesium from the weight difference. Place the crucible and its lid on the clay triangle again. Do not close the lid tightly. Adjust the lid to allow a small amount of ventilation. Heat the magnesium ribbon by heating the crucible with the Bunsen burner flame. This will cause the magnesium ribbon to oxidize in the presence of oxygen and nitrogen of air. Heat until nearly all magnesium present in the crucible is oxidized. When the oxidation is complete, the sample will not glow brightly. At this stage, remove the lid carefully and continue heating strongly for 5 more minutes. This will complete the oxidation process. At this stage, we can assume that all magnesium has been converted to magnesium oxide and magnesium nitride. Cool the crucible and its contents to room temperature. Crush the product into a fine powder using a steering rod. Moisten the product by adding 10 to 15 drops of water using a dropper. Magnesium nitride formed will be converted into ammonia and magnesium hydroxide. Place the crucible back on the triangle and heat gently to evaporate excess water. Take care not to allow any splattering by closing the lid loosely during heating. Make sure that the lid is not tightly closed during this evaporation of water.
Continue heating until the product in the crucible turns red. This will take about 10 minutes. At this stage, all magnesium hydroxide will be converted into magnesium oxide. Overall, the conversion of all magnesium to magnesium oxide is now complete. Cool the crucible, lid and its contents to room temperature. Determine and record the weight of crucible together with its lead and contents. Calculate the mass of the product from the weight difference. Calculate the mass of the elements magnesium and oxygen present in the sample. 